time for my strobing video. Can you tell that I'm super excited about this video because I love dewy skin and I've been waiting to do this video for a long time now and I don't know why I'm talking so fast, but when I'm really excited, I tend to do that. So uh, strobing, if you guys don't know what it is, where have you been? Because it's been all over social media. When I open Instagram, when I open Twitter, Snapchat, that's all people talk about, strobing this, strobing that. And strobing is just basically highlighting on an extreme level. Instead of putting one highlight on your cheeks, you're gonna put three. Instead of using one concealer, you're gonna put three. So yes, it's gonna give you super flawless, fresh faced, even looking perfect skin. That's gonna be super glowy and dewy. That's what strobing is. And strobing, even though everyone calls it this new trend, it's really not new. It's been around forever and everyone's been doing dewy makeup for a long time now. And if you think about it, who are the people who are known for dewy skin? Koreans! Koreans are really into that dewy, flawless finish. So it's not new. It's just that people or brands want to slap this new term on something and call it strobing so that they can market a new product called strobing palettes. When you open it, it's just really three concealers and three highlighters, not concealers, three highlighters in a palette. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you how to do highlighting on an extreme level. Let's get into it. Hello again! So right now I have nothing on my face. I just have my eye makeup on and I already put on my moisturizer like 15 minutes beforehand. I always put on my moisturizer about 10 to 15 minutes before I do my makeup because I have dry skin. So I have to lather on the moisturizer so that whatever I put on top of it is not gonna be all cakey and dry. So depending on your skin type, if you have dry skin, then yes, moisturize your skin. If you have oily skin though, be careful how much moisturizer you put on before your makeup because you don't want it to slip and slide. So we're gonna first go in with a primer and I'm gonna use my Miracle Blur. This blurs out you know, any imperfections, pores and things like that and just makes the foundation go on really nicely. So depending on your skin concerns, what you wanna target, you'll wanna use different types of primer. So if you have um, large pores that you wanna hide, you might wanna use something like Pores No More by Dr. Brent or um, professional. If you have oily skin, you might want to go with a mattifying primer. So we're first going to go in with a primer and I'm just going to first, I like to first focus it on the under eye area because that's the driest area on my face and I find that this really helps to keep it moisturized and minimize its creasing. So now this kind of acts like a second layer of moisturizer for me. My skin loves it. Next, I'm gonna hide these dark circles and eye bags. I'm gonna go in with Benefit Erase Paste. And I use this in number one, Fair. Put on a spatula on my ring finger and lightly dab. Gotta hide those circles, yo. I'm trying really hard not to move at all because the way I have my camera set up right now, I can't even move an inch. As soon as I move an inch, I'm out of focus. So I'm like super still right now and trying to do my makeup and talk to you guys at the same time. It feels kind of weird, but for this video to look super clear and nice for you guys, I can't move. I really like this concealer because it has a salmon color and it just helps to really cover up those dark circles. So when it comes to strobing, it's all about the even complexion. It's all about the highlight. So take out all your concealers, take out all your highlight, and let's get started. <laughs> so next, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles, and this is in the shade Brightener. I'm not gonna apply this that much of this one because we've already got the erase paste on. They're kind of similar but I really like to put this on top because it just smooths everything out and it just makes it a bit thinner because that one is quite thick so mixing this on top kind of makes it thinner and makes it more flawless all right so just a bit of that and then I'm gonna go in with also the same concealer but in the shade light and also just a teeny bit let's twist them up 
Then it's time for foundation. So I'm gonna grab my beloved Beauty Blender and my beloved Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I'm gonna mix the foundation with Benefits High Beam, which is a pinkish, silverish highlighter. I'm gonna start applying from the center of my face and then blending up. I like to start from the center because it just makes your face makeup look more natural. Look how gorgeous this foundation is. Ah! Yeah, I mix it with the highlighter so it's extra dewy right now, but this foundation on its own is gorgeous. It gives you the most natural glow. When it comes to strobing, you want your complexion to be super even and your entire face to be glowing from within. That's why we mix our foundation with a liquid highlighter. But don't overdo the highlight uh, when it comes to your base makeup, especially if you're combo to oily skin, you don't want to put too much highlighter in your foundation or else you're just gonna look like a grease ball. So um, if you're dry, you can put about like a pump of foundation and maybe like half a pump of highlighter when it comes to mixing. If you're oily, just like a teeny, teeny dab or you might not even need the highlight in your foundation if your foundation is not too matte. But really, if you ask me when it comes to strobing, strobing is more for like dry skin individuals. If you're oily skin, it's not impossible. You can do it, but you're gonna get greasy and oily within half an hour. You don't want that. For anybody who has mature skin, strobing is very challenging to pull off because there's lots of highlighter involved and highlighter does not sit well on mature skin because it will emphasize all the lines, it will emphasize saggy skin, pores, sunspots, everything that you don't want people to see, highlighter is gonna draw attention to them. Uh, it's so quiet in here because I can't put on music while I film. Copyright, yo. But usually when I do my makeup, I have music playing, so this feels really weird. I don't, I never do my makeup when it's like silent. It's making me nervous actually. When it's so quiet, it's like mm. Then I'm gonna go back in with the light concealer and then I'm gonna go over the sides of the nose, the corner of the lips, and this will help blur out any redness. I find that this step really helps to even out my complexion. Like there's always a huge difference. It might seem like such a tiny step, like it's not important, but I always see a difference whenever I do or don't put concealer around the nose and mouth. And then we're gonna go in with a highlighting concealer. I told you, this one's gonna be like concealer galore. So I'm using, Oh man, the name rubbed off. I think it was Maybelline, yes. Dream Lumi Highlighting Concealer. What shade is this? In ivory, yay. And then we're gonna draw a triangle underneath the eye area like this. And then down the bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow on the chin. And I also like to put some right above my brows. Because this will help uh, your upper brow bone stand out and it makes your forehead look really nice. So I don't like to put highlighting concealer or highlighter right on the center of my forehead because it will make you look greasy. Blend this out. My beauty blender is getting dry. Let me dampen it even more. There we go. This is what I use to uh, wet my beauty blender when I'm filming and I can't get to the sink. So as you guys can see, where I put the highlighting concealer, it's already much brighter. Then we're gonna go in with our Becca highlighter in the shade Moonlight. And this is a liquid highlight. I'm gonna put this on the high points of our face again. So what I like to do with the liquid highlighter is I just like to put it right here, right above where I would put the blush. But I'm not gonna go all the way in because Usually for most people around this area, that's where you get large pores. And if you were to put a highlighter right there, it's gonna emphasize your pores even more and we don't want that. So make sure you stop right here, like before you reach the pupil area. 
and then just go upwards here and you can bring it onto the brow bone if you want. If you have large pores on the top of your cheeks or you have a breakout, don't put highlighter on it. It's just gonna draw attention to it. I'm gonna apply some on my chin. I'm at cubic boop. Boop, 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 boop. And down the bridge of my nose. Okay, next we're gonna go in with a blush. And I'm gonna use a rather glowy blush. I'm using Milani's Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. So this is a peachy colored glowy blush. That looks really pretty on the skin. Look at that, woo, it's glowing, it's glowing. Mm, I love it. Uh, okay, calm down. So here's a tip, if you ever go overboard with your blush, you can take a damp beauty blender and just blend out the color and it will just tone it down. Next is my favorite product. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffuse Light. And I don't have my blush. Fudge! Don't have my brush. <sighs> Look how pretty. This is not like an intense highlight, but I really like to add this because it gives me a glowing from within look. And I use this as a setting powder, even though it's not a setting powder. But because I have dry skin, I can't really use an actual setting powder. So this is what I use. And it just makes me look like I'm glowing. So I like to set my under eye with this. I just go all over, like. <laughs> then I'm gonna go in with MAC Soft and Gentle and I'm gonna bronze up my cheek area. So I'm just gonna go over where I put my blush. This will just add some color back in. Because when you use so much concealer and highlighter, it tends to wash you out quite a bit. So make sure you have some kind of um, product that will help you warm up your skin again. And this is also a very glowy product. It will just give you that nice bronzy glow on tops of your cheeks. And last but not least, to set my makeup, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. I love this because it has a cooling effect and it's really hydrating. So yeah, I really like to set everything with a makeup spray instead of powder because it helps sort of melt everything together. And this is it for my strobing video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, as you guys can see, it's just a lot of highlight, like tons of highlight, a pound of it. But it gives you that really nice, glowy, dewy finish. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll catch you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys!